Hey guys, uh, this is Matthew Rodella here, and I am going to just give you a quick walkthrough of how to uh, set up the DNS Manager plugin on a single WordPress install and see how easy it is to manage your customers uh, or your own DNS settings from within the WordPress dashboard using this plugin. So uh, go down to, after you install the plugin, you'll go down to DNS Manager. And then the first thing you want to do is put in your license key uh, from when you purchase the plugin. And then uh, in the DNS provider tab, you want to choose your DNS, your managed DNS provider, and um, and then put in your, your API key and follow the instructions on that tab. Once all that's done, then the next thing you want to do is put in the uh, IP address of your current website host. So I'll paste that in there. And... I also want to go ahead and create the www C name. I'll click save. All right, settings updated successfully. And now I'll go down to DNS zones. And a zone is basically a place where your DNS records are kept for a particular domain. Um, so we only need one zone typically for a single WordPress install. I'm going to go ahead and create that zone now. You can name, uh, for the zone name, you can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to name it, uh, the, the, the brand name for this website is Tech Marketing Engine, so I'll just name it that. This is going to be helpful because this is what you'll see in the, um, the control panel of your managed DNS provider. If you ever need to go in there and manage things, you'll be able to see things quickly. But really the point of this plugin is so that you don't have to go over there and manage your DNS. You can do it here. Um, for the domain name, you want to put in the domain name of the site um, without any HTTP, without any www, whatever, just the main domain of the site. You can put in a description of you want. All right, and we're not using custom name servers in this particular scenario, so I'm just going to keep that at none. Click Add Zone. All right, now the zone created successfully. Here's my zone. I And now if I want to add DNS records, I just click on the name of the zone. And then here uh, down towards the bottom of the screen, at the top you see the info for this particular zone that you can edit if you want. And then here are your DNS records. So right now by default, the plugin uh, creates your A record. It creates your name server records pointing to your managed DNS name servers. It creates um, an SOA record that's needed for this particular scenario. And because I checked the box, it also creates a www C name just to make that easy. And now you can go ahead and add other DNS records. So if you're copying or you're, you're transferring over from another DNS service, you can uh, copy in your other records like MX records, um, yeah, any text records you might have, SPF records, those kind of thing. Copy those in, add them, and they'll you'll they'll be added to your DNS records here. Once you have everything set up, then you want to go to your domain registrar and point your domain to your name servers, which are here. And that will be the final step, and you'll get then your uh, website will then be routing through uh, your managed DNS provider using these. Um, records. Uh, so some examples of why you might want to use this plugin is you want to give your clients um, control over their DNS settings, but you don't want to give them access to your managed DNS provider, or maybe you, um, you know, you purchase the domain names for your clients and you manage their DNS or you have access to their DNS and you don't want to give them access to your DNS provider. Instead, you can set this up so that they have access to their own DNS records here. That way they have control over it and they don't feel like, you know, they're being held hostage by you. Um, it also works in reverse, right? You can do this so that you can help your customers because your customers might not be very tech savvy. Uh, but they might own their domain name. So you want to take the uh, DNS control away from them, um, or at least you want visibility into their DNS without requiring them to use your DNS service and have them you know, log into a separate DNS service. Instead, you just say, hey, 
let me uh, set up, uh, let me, here's the name servers that you could put in for your domain name. And then moving forward, I can jump in here and add MX records or do whatever. So, um, you know, there's lots of different scenarios for why you would want to use this. It, and it just makes management more easier. That way you can just manage everything from within the WordPress dashboard instead of needing to log into a bunch of different places to manage all of the settings for a website. So um, that is uh, as simple as it is to uh, set up and start managing DNS records for your website using DNS Manager plugin. Uh, in the next video, um, I'm going to talk about how to set this up for a WordPress multi-site, and that's where the true power of this plugin really comes in. See you there.